Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'll show you the basics on how to use uh, Curran Higo Coach Paint. So you can start to put some graphics onto some videos for you. So I've just loaded the software up here. So if we go to the top left hand corner, these are all the banks that we can save clips into. So if we go right mouse click and import clip, and I've got a clip on my desktop. So if I open that, and I've just got a clip of our student union team. So I'll open that and you see on the top um, left corner, the bars are sort of filling up and, and then that will show up once the clip's all loaded in for you. So now that's loaded up, what well, first thing we have to do uh, is create our chroma key and then that will add start, that will just add the basis on when we can put the graphics onto the onto the video clip. So we go edit chroma key and you'll see this sort of pinky purple box come up. So if we click that once, you can see that there's the green is now turning uh, purple. And we want all the pitch to be green, I'm sorry, all the pitch to be purple, because that's what we're gonna add our graphics onto. So we can add those in, and just click, fill that in. And you don't wanna click too much, because I like to say, for example, just to cover a player, because then the graphics will then be added on top of the players and you want those to go underneath. So if you've gone too far, you can just click undo, and then come out. Okay, so, First of all, um, what we'll need to do is create a pause section within the video. So a lot of the tools that we use um, will need to go into a pause section. So what we'll do, we can move the clip forwards and backwards because I've got a jockey wheel here. So I can spin my jockey wheel forwards and backwards. So say I want to put a pause section in here. I'll go to this uh, sort of speed dial on the left hand side, click on that. And you can see there's like a timeline across the bottom. If we click pause, yeah, it's automatically put a 3.35 second pause in. And I can use the inner wheel on my jockey wheel and move it clockwise and anti-clockwise just to move the, um, the pause section, make it longer or shorter. So I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna click pause again. And you can see on the bottom right hand side, uh, the save icon's now got an asterisk, which means I need to save. So if I click save, and if I reset the clip just by clicking on the top right hand corner again and click play, the clip will run through and then there'll be a pause section and then it will start again as well. So that's how to create a basic, basic pause. And then a lot of the tools that you'll use um, need to be placed within a pause section. So if we go back into our pause, you can see the pause section on the top, there's like a sort of die or a bar, which you can see the darker section here is where it signifies the pause. So if we just move our jockey wheel, so we do good, just within our pause. And then we've got some tools here that we can have a play with. So if we were to add a box, for example, we could put this box icon on the left, and we can say if we were to put a box there, we'll just put our four corners for our box. Then what we want, what we want to do is just spin our wheel and towards the end of our pause section. Just leave a bit of a buffer on the end. And then on the bottom left, there's an arrow. So we just click on this arrow and then click our infinity sign. And we need to save. And then if we reset our clip and click play, the clip will play through, get to our pause, our box will come up and our box will disappear and the, port, and the clip will play on. Let me go back into the pause section. Just in there, clear off the old box. And save, you can clear off the, you can clear off the uh, tools on the bottom right hand corner, there's a cross. Again, we, so we can add some different types of graphics. There's a line here, so we could put a line around this play if we wanted to. We could use this arrow, and just put an arrow in. Again, we would fast forward towards the end of our pause section. Towards the end, click this infinity, um, click this arrow on the bottom left hand corner, and then we'll just click our infinity signs, and then save. Then if we reset our clip and play, the clip will play through, we'll get to our pause section, our graphics will come up, they'll disappear and then the clip will play on. So 
So they're the clips that we're using within an actual pause section. There are a few tools which you can use that are not in a pause. So for example, if you want to track a player, so you could put, there's like a little cursor here. So we'll click on this player here, and this will bring this cursor up. Now, if we right mouse click and click tracking, so we want tracking to be none and chroma key to be on. So we want, the, if the chroma key was off, then the cursor wouldn't sit sort of flush against the uh, turf of the pitch, it would go sort of on top of the player, which we don't want. So if we click that, and then if we hold shift and rotate our inner wheel, we can change the sort of pitch of the disc. So we get it sort of just how you like it. And then if you press control and move your inner circle, that will make the cursor bigger or smaller. So you can move that around when you're happy. And if you use your inner cursor just to jog the frame forward a few frames, or the video if you're forward a few frames, and you can click and drag your cursor to follow the player. So you can do that, you can be sort of as finite as you like. You obviously get a better result, the sort of the fewer frames you move forward. And then you'll see there's like a white line that appears that shows up that with the path that the cursor will then track. So when you're happy, you can just click save. And then if we reset our clip, and click play, it'll go through into our pause. Graphics will come up, they'll go, and our cursor will follow this player, as you can see. And then that will disappear and it will carry on. Again, see, there are tools where you can put in sort of text, so if you want to explain something within the video. So if we just go into our buffer and click on this tag icon on the left, say text, so just put test for today, enter, and you see that it comes up. And then again, we can fast forward towards the end of our pause section. And we click infinity. So I click the arrow first, then the infinity sign, and then save, reset, play that through, and you'll see that the, as well as the other graphics that are already on there, then the text icon will come up as well. There we go. And then they'll disappear and that'll carry on. And then I'll just show you one last tool. Today, what I'll do, I'll clear off the existing graphics that we've got. Let's clear those off. And save. So if we go back into our pause section, again just inside the pause, you can have cardboard cut cardboard. You can have cutouts of the player. So if you click on this sort of green man on the left, and it will highlight all the players that you could be able to cut out. So say we want to cut this player out here, we just highlight him. Let me say if we want to move him down here. And if you move towards the end of your pause section again, just with your scroll wheel. Again, we use this arrow in the bottom left. And then we'll click on there until we get the infinity. And save. And then reset our clip. Play. So we'll go through, get to our pause section, play it will move, and move back, and then the play will carry on. Again, so it's got some quite powerful tools you can use there, um, sort of get your coaching points across within your video. Um, all the tools are sort of customizable, so you can like change the colors, etc. So if you right mouse click on any of the sections, uh, sorry, in the tools on the left hand side, so if you right mouse click, go to properties, you can then change the color, and you change sort of the, let's say the opacity, the thickness of the of the arrows. So you can just click on the color here. We can move that over here. Move this if we want sort of a ready orange color. 
Okay, and then you can see if we add that arrow, let's change color. Again, you can do the same with the cursor. If we wanted a different color cursor, just go right mouse click, properties, click on the color, and then go move into yellow. Okay, and you can see that that's color, that's um, changed color as well. So once you're happy with all the sort of graphics you've added onto your clip, you can then export it out. So if you just right, right mouse click, export clip, you can change the name, change the uh, location you want to save it onto, etc. And then you just click export, and that'll export that clip out for you. Oh, I've already got one that name. Change the name export and you can see that will go through and export the clip for you and you can add that to any sort of um, sort of video sharing platform that your that your club or your organization use so they're the basics on how to use car and go coach paint um, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe uh, and i'll see you in the next video